Hey everybody at O2 Remodeling. My name is Erin. I'm with Duff Digital Marketing and you had spoken with my partner and husband Rob on Facebook. So as promised, I'm shooting you this short video just to give you all a few tips on how to help grow your business online. And I will keep this short, but if by the end of the video you can tell that that is certainly something that we specialize in and that's something that you're interested in doing for your business, please reach out to us and we can chat. And if not, no worries. I hope you're able to take these tips I'll give you today and put them into action. The only thing I do ask, if you don't mind, would just be to give me some feedback on this video and let me know if it was helpful for you. But we'll go ahead and get started. The three things I'll talk about today are going to be content, citations, and backlinks. So first up is content, and I do have your Facebook page pulled up here. And Facebook is a very powerful tool. There is no doubt about that. But when people are looking for services, the first place they're going to go is going to be Google. And once they get their search results, they're also going to want to have a website to click on. Um, so just for reference, especially while we're speaking about content, I did pull up one of the competitor sites here. So content would be con considered, excuse me, anything that you can see here. Um, it is the words, but it's also the pictures and what the pictures are saved as. And typically Google likes to see about 1500 words of uh, content on the homepage of a website. And within those 1500 words, you're able to integrate in keywords and key phrases that people are going to be searching for when they're looking for your services. So my first suggestion would absolutely be to get a website if that's not already something that's in the works for you all. Um, not only does it serve as a digital business card for you, but it's also really the first step that you have to take if you want to get ranked on Google and get in front of more people. Um, so that would be my suggestion there. Next up is going to be citations and I pulled up a Google search here and the first thing you'll see is this section. This is called the map pack and citations have a lot to do with that section. So a citation is your business name, address, and telephone number listed in various directories throughout the web. And by directory, I mean things like Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, Yelp, Yellow Pages, and really anywhere else that will allow business owners to add in those business details and services. So you all would want to go out and see where your competition is being listed within those directories and grab those listings for yourself. But you also don't want to just stop there. So for instance, if your top competitor has 10 directory listings, you want to grab those 10, but then you also want to double, triple, quadruple the amount of listings that your business has. So you want to have 20, 30, 40, 50. That's going to make it to where you're completely dominating them in that space, but it also helps you to rank high on the maps here. So we'll move along to backlinks here. And backlinks have a lot to do with this section underneath the maps. This is called the organic section. And the way that backlinks work is there is a website out there that has a link to your site if you all decide to get one. And it's pushing power to your site, but it's also potentially driving traffic to it as well. But not all backlinks are created equal. So let's say that you did some work for someone who owns an ice cream shop and they've decided they're going to take a link from their site and push one back to yours but their link is going to be all about ice cream. So it's not going to be very helpful for you. You all would wanna get links from other remodeling companies that send a link back to your site and signal to Google that number one, that is the industry that you're in, and number two, that you're trustworthy. That's going to be a lot more unique, but also more powerful in Google's eyes because it is relevant to your industry. And I did pull up one of the tools that I use here. I wasn't able to put your company in it since there isn't a website at this time, um, but I did put the website that we did look at for one of your competitors, just so I can give you a visual representation of what I'm speaking about. So it's showing currently they have 691 referring domains, which is giving them 4.9 thousand backlinks, getting them found for 3.8 thousand keywords, and that's driving about 2.2 thousand people to their website just per month, which is a lot of people to be in front of. Um, so let me pull up the keywords they're using here and we'll take a look. So we're looking for buyer intent keywords. That would be anything that someone's going to think to actually type into that search bar when they're looking for your services. So here's a perfect one right here, home remodeling Dallas, Texas. This is a great key phrase because number one, it lists the industry or the service that's being provided. And it also lists the location that this company is trying to target. Um, home remodeling Dallas. So this goes to show you that you can use variations of the same word or phrase and it will still count as a whole new keyword. 
uh, bathroom remodel Dallas, Dallas home remodelers, remodeling Dallas. Um, so I certainly will not bore you and have you go through these thousands of keywords, but I hope that that does at least kind of give you an idea of the types of things you would want to work into that content um, if and when you all do decide to get a website. And really, in order to beat out your competition, you just want to make sure that you're being found in a lot of the same places they are. Um, that is going to make it to where your competition, again, has a very hard time keeping up with you, but it's also the type of thing that's going to get you ranked on Google. But that's really all that I have for you all today. I do hope that this video was helpful. If you'd like to know more about Dup Digital Marketing or how we can help to grow your business via your online presence, please do reach out to us. We would love to talk to you about that. But thank you again for your time and you have a great weekend.